Hello, my name is Crystal Fan. I'm an artist and proud second generation Canadian. I worked with the Royal British Columbia Museum on the Learning Portal Pathway, Vietnamese Canadian Experiences in BC. What can we learn from the refugees of 1979 to 1980? The content is based on my own family's experiences of coming to BC in 1980 as part of a significant and massive wave of immigration to Canada. Let's take a look. Here we are on the Learning Portal homepage. Click on Pathways at the top. You can find the Vietnamese Canadian Experiences pathway by scrolling through the page or by typing in a keyword like Vietnam here in the search bar. Pathways are clusters of media and content related to a particular subject. They have subsections to provide material for all types of learners. As you can see, they are organized by different ways to explore. Overview, read, watch, listen, look, and teach. The overview gives you a short introduction to the topic and a guiding question. For this pathway, that question is, what does life look like when you have to start all over again? In the read section, you will find short written articles in PDF format that are quick to download and easy to print. For example, this is Hannah's story, a two-page story from my family member Hannah about what life was like coming to Canada at the age of eight. Scroll down below to find a list of vetted, safe links to external websites related to this topic. In the watch section, you can see me talk about my own parents' immigration story. There's also a video clip from the BC Archives collection, an episode from a live call-in TV show from 1979, featuring recent immigrant Emily Wong speaking with host Jack Webster. The earth is really but one country and mankind is its citizens. And uh... You bring out nothing but the best in people. <laughs> I love it. The word is really a good word for me. Hear from my friends in the listen section about their experiences as newcomers to BC. Let's have a quick listen to my friend Q Tran on her first day of school. What is your name? Given that I did not understand a single word of English, I was panicked when the teacher was zero in to me. So I said, no. In the look section, you'll find three different galleries. Here I am with the belongings my parents came to Canada with after they escaped Vietnam by boat in 1980. These belongings were accepted into the Royal BC Museum collection in 2019. The items include a pair of embroidered cotton pillowcases, an embroidered silk baby carrier, knitted sweaters, a knitted vest, and a few blouses. Explore the artwork I created about my family's experiences here. The final gallery, titled Life in British Columbia, shows some of my family's early years. Here's a picture of my family celebrating my first month of life. Everyone in the picture, except the two babies, came together on the same boat. The final subsection is Teach. It ties a lot of the content we've just looked at into activities designed specifically for grades five, six, and 10, but of course can be adapted in whatever way you like. Exploring concepts of immigration and national identity through art uses my paintings and inquiry questions to get students to really look beyond the surface of art to find meaning using their own ideas and experiences. In history and perspective, we look closer at Hannah's story and use it as a jumping off point to reflect on our own personal stories. There's also an additional activity based on the Emily Wong video we saw in the watch section. Discover what we can learn from the refugees of 1979 to 80 here on the learning portal.